explaining that having an institute named after me would mean that half of the country would think I was dead. I don't know if they still think I'm dead. <laughs> I've been out of the sea a little while. Dr O'Donoghue was the first Aboriginal woman to be awarded the Order of Australia and was named Australian of the Year in 1984. Dr O'Donoghue knows most, uh, more than most, the importance of identity, knowledge and strength to improving health and wellbeing in our communities. Loacher is a, an amazing person, a giant in our world. But we're a small organisation with big goals to change the world for Indigenous people. The Institute's contribution to national and global research on Indigenous health is precisely the kind of work that needs to be recognised and funded by the Commonwealth as a commitment to Indigenous participation and law and policy design by Indigenous peoples themselves. We must be fearless in our work for the health and the well-being of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people. We must be fearless in our work for the Indigenous peoples of the world over. The world is starting to pay attention to the Lowitcher Institute. We have collaborators, partners from across the world, as well as from our local communities at our conference today. So the conference is about uh, sharing stories, but more than that, it's about action going forward. So Indigenous peoples of the world, central, driving that action to make the change. We're a small organisation, but we are punching above our weight, and those of our colleagues internationally uh, look to us at times for inspiration for their own work, and that's the greatest compliment that we could ever have.